Hey, second graders, all right, it is time for math. And I'm wearing my hat today. You know, you're really not supposed to wear a hat in the building or inside, but we do what we have to, right? I, we can't get haircuts. All the haircut places are closed. I think we're gonna attempt to cut our own hair next week, or my wife's gonna cut everybody's hair. <laughs> So I'm wearing a hat a lot because it's starting to get long and I usually have short hair. All right, so time for math. Maybe you could go get your hat. Pause me, go get your hat, put your hat on. Then after you get your hat on, take a pencil and see if you can balance it right on the brim, right? Just like that. Oh, try again. Can't catch it. Anyway, I'll try later. I'm not gonna give up, but we just need to make a video. All right, so our math sheet, it says 267 on the bottom here. You should have this. Okay, so yesterday we worked on numbers in their places. We counted by ones, counted by tens, wrote down numbers, that sort of thing. So the very first one on here, 200 plus 200. Now the two is in the hundreds place, right? There's the hundreds, tens, and ones place. Now you could go 201, 202. Whoa, that would take way too long. But if you go, if you know both the twos are in the tens place, it's just like saying, what's two plus two? Hopefully we don't have to count. Think about it, two plus two, four. So 200 plus 200 is 400. 400 and I want to go down okay I want to go down for now and then we'll go down and we'll go down okay so the next one says 300 plus 300 what's 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 is 6 and if it's 300 plus 300 then 300 plus 300 is 600. Okay. So I know you can do that whole sheet. I know you can do the next two on your own. So I'm going to work on this one. A little more tricky. 200 plus 20. It's... The two and the 200 is in the hundreds place. The 20 is in the tens place. So 200 plus 20 is 200. Remember, we did these kind of things yesterday. 220. 220. 300 plus 30 then must be 330. Are you getting it? Are you following with me? Because they're in different places. We have the tens, the ones, the hundreds, the tens, and the ones place. So if we have 200 over here, and if you want to finish these up, and then, or if you want to pause and finish those up, you can, and then come back to me. So here we have 200 plus 2. Not 200 plus 20, but 200 plus 2 is 202. And we write that 202 two, because there's nothing in the tens place right here. It's 202. Two. So 300 plus 3 is not 330. It's 300 and, well, 3. You can do the next two. Are you guys seeing how we do that? You got to keep your numbers in their place. We could stack them. But let's stop and use our thinker. Just think about it. So much of what we learn sometimes in second grade is we just need to stop and think about it. In math, hopefully, by now we know that 5 plus 5 is 10. And we don't have to go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? We should know that. We should be able to think about it. I know a lot of us, sometimes the first thing we want to do is start counting. But we've been doing this enough that maybe if we just stop and think, 
use our thinkers, we can remember. All right, so over here, I'm gonna go across and just do this top one. Notice I'm not doing these yet. I'm gonna do this one, this one, and this one with you. And now I'm gonna cut you loose on the rest of them because you need to use a thinker on them. So the first one, this big number two, 600 plus 200. The six and the two are both in the hundreds place. So it is just like saying, what is six plus two? Well, six plus two is eight. So 600 plus 200. I know you got this. 800, 800, 800. But now we have 20 plus 600. Or you could say 600 plus 20, okay? 20 plus 600 is not 602, but 600 and, oh yeah, got this, 20, 620. But here we have two plus 600. 600 plus two or two plus 600, same thing, right? 600, oh. 602. See the difference between 620 is like a 20 with a 6 in front of it, and a 602 is like 02 because there's nothing here. 602, please pay attention to the difference between 620 and 602. There is the difference because we have the places, the hundreds place, the tens place, and the ones place. You're going to get tired of me saying that. Okay? All right. Now they're going to get a little more challenging down here. What is 100 plus 134? Wait. So think about the places. Well, what's one, 100 plus 100 is 200. So 100 plus 134 is going to be 200 and something. 200, 100 plus 134 is going to be 200. Oh, 234. You see how I did this? 100 plus 134, because these are both zeros, is 234. I am going to show you this one on the board just to show you what I mean. So I have 100 plus 134. Now, I could do this, but I really want you to use your thinker and just think about it. There's nothing in the ones place up here or nothing in the tens place up here. There is one here in the hundreds place. So zero plus four is, oh my gosh, easy. You would roll your eyes if I asked you that on the way out the door. Zero plus three is three. And then of course one plus one is two. Okay, I'm just showing you that to prove how that works. but. If you have to, go ahead and stack them and add them like that. But really what I want you to do is really slow down, stop, and just think about it. Now, wait a minute. So 50 plus 6, don't go 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Go 50, oh, that's 56. 50 plus 3 is, oh, that's 53. Those kind of things. I want you to use your thinker and just think about it rather than try and add them up. If you have to do that, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but try to use your thinker and just slow down and think about it. That's the kind of thinking we want to try and teach in second grade. That's what it's all about. But first, I know, first we got to figure it out and figure out how it works. But let's try user thinker today. All right, do your best. And I look forward to seeing this. And uh, I really miss all you guys more than you think.
Hope you're all well. Remember to wash your hands. So now that we're done with math, oh, we gotta go have lunch. Have lunch, wash your hands first, wash your hands after, wash your hands a lot. I miss you guys. Next, we'll do some of our read aloud. Bye.